Mars, the red planet. Even though taking a better look at it, it's quite colorful. It is the second smallest planet in the solar system, but that doesn't mean that it's not a big place, since it has the similar solid surface area as Earth, if we include the oceans. It has about half the diameter of Earth, but also you can fit two of them inside the Earth. So then, what if Mars became a moon of Earth? Let's say it suddenly, for some reason, started drifting towards the Earth. When it arrives here, it would cause quite a few number of problems and changes in general. So, first of all, since Mars would be closer to the Sun, its surface would heat up, causing the temperature to go up by a fair number of Celsius, and causing the thickness of the atmosphere to change a bit, as well as the whole landscape of Mars. Polar ice caps made out of carbon dioxide may even disappear at some point because of the temperature change. Now when it reaches Earth, Moon would likely be ejected, causing it to fly into outer space. It is also not certain whether or not it will settle into orbit or crash into Earth. But let's say it settles at around 400,000 kilometers of a distance from Earth, similar to our Moon. Then Mars would appear double the size of our Moon because it has double the diameter. It is as well quite reflective, maybe even more so than our Moon. Even during a very dark night, away from light pollution, Moon provides quite a good shine and can create a shadow. The shine is also whitish and bluish, but with Mars as our Moon, nights would appear a bit brighter, with an interesting reddish and orangish tint to it. Now, because Mars is still quite big and has somewhat strong gravity, it won't totally be the Moon of Earth. Rather, Earth and Mars would create a barycenter, center of mass, which both objects would orbit around. But the Earth would be just more dominant. It also may cause Mars to be tidally locked, so it would always show the similar face to Earth. So, because of its gravity, tidal forces of Mars could cause tidal heating of Earth, making the temperature rise here likely by a few Celsius, which could melt some of the ice on Earth and cause sea level to rise just a bit. Still, cities on the coast would be in some trouble, but not only that, tides as well would be much bigger, and tsunamis would be more frequent, which in the long run could cause some serious damage to the land. Now, that is very bad, but there are some good things that would come with Mars. First of all, since it will be so close, studying Mars would become much, much easier, and sending a human and their rover there would be very much possible. Communicating with these rovers and humans would be done with a few seconds of delay. Unlike on Mars in real case, which it takes few minutes for a signal to reach Mars, because it is very far away. So terraforming Mars and studying its ancient landscape would be a lot easier. Maybe we would even find some simple form of life if we explored it a lot more, and it could become a second home to us. But still, it is not very predictable how Mars would change with the temperature rise, and will it affect the landscape a lot, but for sure humans could make a lot more out of it than now. So all in all, Mars is a very promising target, one of the least hostile objects in the solar system. Now it won't actually become our moon, but if it were to become our moon, it would have its upsides as well as its downsides.